probably should have looked at the instructions a little more, but I'm just gonna get in. And I think you're supposed to put towels down and stuff. Uh, but I wanna get the full, I wanna make sure I get the full experience. So it doesn't look like you can actually, if you're by yourself, you can't close the foot thing, right? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm trying to, well, I was thinking about closing the foot thing. You got, you got, like you said. You gonna get a little ab work on him? <laughs> Come on, stretch. <laughs> get high naturally, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, all right. That's what they say. Okay. The girl, the girl on the box is in her bed. I have a pillow, but I'm a little worried about sweating on my pillow, even with towels or whatnot. And I don't exactly know. I probably should have looked at the, we've got the brochure Stop and stuff in there. Huh? Stuff your arms in there. <laughs> you just want to see me. <laughs> you just want to like go all the way down. <laughs> there you go. You just want to call the mafia. Roll that blanket up underneath me. Yeah, get you some carpet. Carry me down. You know, it's warm already. Is it? It is warm. This stuff. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? It is warm. It's pretty damn warm. Because you're encapsulated in, in, uh, the bag. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, you're in it. I don't know how someone feasibly do this in their bed. Is it focused? Yeah. Really? Why? Just curious. All right. So how many minutes we got on the clock? Um, I was already kind of hot for two like minutes a, now. Uh, like here before. I feel like I'm going to be sweating in no time. Is it hot? I mean, it's definitely warm because there's no breathability. Like, it, it, I mean, if somebody wrapped you up in a rubber tarp, you'd feel hot too. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think, you're not supposed to keep your arms in here like this, are you? I don't know. You're the sauna expert. <laughs> well, I don't, yeah, sauna, not bags. So it's heating up? Yeah, it's heating up. I feel like I'm st about to start. That's my arm. Sorry, that's my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm about to start sweating like on my forehead. But I felt really warm from moving around and doing all the stuff that we did with the DIY sauna before we started this. But my body was still pretty cold. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> there we go. This is why you wanted me to put my arms in the bag. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. The YouTube is gonna love this. <laughs> this is, I'm gonna let you approve these comments. How are you feeling? Warm. And like something is touching my pelvis. <laughs> uh, how many minutes? Uh, we're at three and a half. I'm about to start sweating. Are you really? Yeah. You wanna try this afterwards? No, I think I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah, well, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting concept, that's for sure. It is weird. I'm not really sure what to think. If, uh... Well, I could let it ride for a few more minutes. Do you want one of those uh, towels under your neck? No, I'm okay right now. We'll get the full experience. Gotcha. We'll see how much sweat is in the bag. Okay. Like, from... Because it's weird. In a sauna, you get a sense of the air temperature. Okay. Because there's space around your body. So in this thing, like my back, my torso, my legs, not on the sides, but on the top and the bottom, they're completely touching the... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like there's no air temperature in this thing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just be quiet. <laughs> I'm just thinking of smart ass things to say. Like... <laughs> I gotta keep my mouth shut. <laughs> no, go ahead. It's gonna be a while, so make it uh, make it entertaining for the folks that we should have had a couple of beers before we did this. <laughs> Why do you keep putting the dang thing right there? No, it's good. I mean, if you want to talk, this is better footage. <laughs> no, I, I think it's okay. <laughs> There's also a tripod hanging over me. Can you see the arms on the screen? No. You can't see the tripod legs. No. Like how you're putting them on top of the bag? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So what do you think? I mean, 
I don't really know what to say. What do you think people would want to know about this thing? I mean, I'm obviously restricted. Yeah, you gotta have you have space to do it. I mean, huh? it actually does take a little space. I mean, yeah, but I think what people like about it is that when you're done, you could fold it up and stick it on a shelf. Okay. But I don't see. I mean, if you look at the box, it shows the girl doing it on the bed. I mean, yeah, you could stick it on a, on a shelf. But this thing's gonna be rank. Yeah, it might be. Do like I look a, like I'm sweating yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your brow's sweating. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting warm. But I can't tell. <laughs> We got all sweat there, folks. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely getting warm, but I don't feel your head's uh, like turning color. Yeah, my body's getting warm, but I don't feel like that intense sweat yet, like you do in a regular sauna. Like if we open the bag, mm -hmm. do you think I'd be covered in sweat? I can't answer that. Well, you can't feel it though, because the bag's touching you. I don't know. Oh, you can't feel the sweat. Not really, because I'm, 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 like this whole thing is is I'm touching your skin. Do you want me to get the GoPro and we put the GoPro on the bag? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, though. POV sauna bag. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, this is different. It's a different experience. Do you think it'll work as well if I take my arms out? Be nice to at least move around a little bit. Wouldn't that, won't that retain more heat though? If your arms are in there? Yeah, but you can't expect somebody to sit like this for an hour. Why? Why? With their arms in the bag? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I guess. I wish I had a camera. I should be wearing a GoPro so people can see <laughs> your <yet>. expressions <laughs> behind this damn camera. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nothing like having your arms tied behind your back for a half hour. Get your sweat on. I don't know. I don't know what the difference in the arms would be. You feel like you're getting warm? Definitely getting warm. So you're saying that the sensation is different in this versus the other sauna because you can't tell if you're sweating. Different than all of them. Yeah, I mean, huh. I feel warm, but it feels like you just have a heating pad on you. Oh, okay. But I don't know. Like, the only thing that's really free right now is my hands. Okay. So the fabric is flush to the top of my torso and to my back okay so i feel like i'm getting a little squishy under my back but i don't get the sense that i'm dripping sweat like i would be after 10 minutes in one of the wooden saunas okay or well we haven't shot that part of it yet but if you were to get into the diy sauna mm -hmm. or if you were to get in one of those tents yeah i could already tell on that one you'd be sweating bullets yeah in the diy one and then, like, if you unzip the tent, I mean, you can feel when you start to perspire because you feel it drip off of you. Oh, okay. So, like, right now, I'm not getting the sense that anything's dripping off of me except for the back of my hairline and my forehead. Okay. So, I don't know if it's just you can't feel it because you're encapsulated. Interesting. Or, you know, like, I can feel it on my forehead. The sweat is moving. Okay. But I don't know. This is weird to try to describe. I kind of I want to take my hands out, though. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being. You're gonna mess the whole experience up now. No, uh, it's, now it's compromised. You gotta start over. I have a little sweat. I don't think I'm supposed to be so far down in there. That's why they have a pillow. All right. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I feel like I'm in a hospital bed and this is my last confession. Good angle. <laughs> tell me, tell me, <laughs> tell me your last wishes before <laughs> you kick the bucket. Well, guys, I have a confession to make. No, I pretty much knew going into this, this, this bag style thing is probably not for me. No. No. I much prefer... I mean, there is something to be said about being able to sauna and lay down. Because even if you are in a long session, you get lightheaded or dehydrated or something like that. Okay. You're more calm. You're more balanced. You don't, when you're laying down, mm -hmm. as if when you're sitting. But I definitely like to be able to move around. Do you feel hotter now that your arms are out of it? Hotter? Like, does your body feel 
so, so you can tell a difference uh, in the yeah. temperature of the arms? Yes. Like comparatively? Yeah, arms are definitely cooler and it makes the legs feel warmer at this point. Oh, I do have a, some type of a sweat. Yeah, you've been sweating for a few minutes. Yeah, but it's not like an intense sweat. Hmm. If you saw me, if you saw me in one of the the big ones, but that's probably because like it, this is a head out sauna. Okay. So the air temperature around the upper torso isn't sealed. You mean a contractor bag? <laughs> <laughs> we need a third cameraman <laughs> today. Uh, Make it a head in sauna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put a couple of vents. <laughs> you got a straw. <laughs> Breathe through that. Uh, so, <clears throat> how many minutes has it been so far? Uh, we've been rolling for 11. Okay. And that's after the EMF test? That's a separate clip? Correct. Yep. Since you've been in it. So I've been in here for over 10. doesn't feel like it's probably going faster for me than it is for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot. I mean, I don't know. That's what's weird. There's not a whole lot that you can really do. I'm probably not situated in this thing the right way though. I feel like I should be further out so that I have more movement here. What, what you want more of your torso in there? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I, I want to give it, I want to, you know, get the maximum heat. I should probably put my hands back in there. But man, it feels like you're in a cadaver bag with your arms in. I can in. imagine. Huh? I can imagine. Yeah. So what do you think is a reasonable time before, like at some point, let me 15, 20 minute mark, we gotta open it up and see how much sweat. Well, how do you usually, uh, usually sweat within a couple minutes being in the big boys? Well, yeah, you can see it, you know. But I don't wanna open this prematurely and then let the heat out. I'm with you. Even though that's not really how it works, but still. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wanna give it the benefit of the doubt. As it stands right now, I don't, I don't feel like I'm building a, I'm not building a sweat like I would in a normal sauna session. Okay. Unless I'm, like, my feet feel completely dry. So your feet aren't sweating yet? Not that I'm aware of. This is a strange type of assessment. Are there any recommendations from the instructions? Like how long it's in it? Oh, I don't know. I put those next to it so we can look at it. Can you give me one? Well, no, just one. You take that. Oh, I'll read this one. Higher dose. It says you can place it on a massage table or yoga mat. How, oh. What happens if you roll off of that thing on the massage table? <laughs> I'm telling you, there's no rolling over in this guy. This is kind of cool. Imagine you came home from work. Yeah. I was just, uh, your spouse was in the bag just reading a book <laughs> on the bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I kind of, I'm definitely biased though against this type of stuff because I'm spoiled, right? Like I've used every other type of sauna on the market. The last thing that I want to do, and I said, I was very upfront about that. Last thing that I want to do is get in some bag. Oh, here we go. You should wear comfortable, casual skin covering clothes. <clears throat> we strongly suggest more cotton breathable clothing. Cotton's, skin covering? Cotton's not breathable, but okay. So I should have worn long sleeves. Your feet also need to be covered, so socks are required. What? This blanket was designed to be experienced with a barrier between your body and the blanket. Add a towel inside the blanket underneath of your body for additional cushioning and comfort. What about the heat, though? The most heat. I'm not saying to be as covered up as possible and even put a towel in there. <laughs> Here you go. All right. Oh, yeah, it says right here, this blanket is designed to be... Do not exceed 50 minutes, 5-0. Huh. Do not use... To begin, start level 4, 5, and 6, and slowly decrease... Seven, eight, nine. Level nine should only be used if sweating cannot be achieved on lower levels. Oops. What do I have it on? I think that's nine, right? <laughs> what do we just turn it on? Put it, plug it in. Turn it on max. Well, I, I mean, how do you do a fair comparison against other saunas if it's not All right maxed out? How many minutes are we on the clock? Uh, Fourteen and a half. I just started to sweat a little bit. Okay. On my sides of the torso, so core temperature starting to raise. Sounds like it takes about 15 minutes. Might be a couple minutes quicker if I had my arms back in. Uh, but I wonder if we're screwing it up by not. I can't imagine having socks on or layers of clothing would make the heat more intense, right? All right it could. Really? Right? I don't know. I mean, it's just naturally gonna raise your temperature. 
if you have more clothing on. Okay. Right? I don't know. So should I stop it? Should we put should I put socks on? That said basically to cover your whole body in clothes. Like getting there fully clothed. I should have looked at that before I started. Seriously? That's what it says. I wonder if the, I don't know, I mean, the box is quite deceiving. It looks like someone else is sleeping in it, but Yeah. This is I mean, if that's the case, I mean this is not something that I would do. <clears throat> I'm not gonna put socks and clothes and stuff and sweat in a bag all the time. So I'd suspect maybe the people that are getting in this aren't actually going to sweat their ass off? I don't know. I mean, it's supposed to be a, a blanket or a infrared sauna blanket that's like super portable, which it is. That's the draw to it, right? If you're in a little apartment like the treehouse that I used to live in, and you don't have space for even one of those or a... Uh, Roll the set on the floor. Yeah. And I, I mean, I guess it is making me sweat. I just can't tell like to what degree. Okay. You're pretty wrapped up in there. I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I guess the clothing is just another thermal barrier. I'm not sure. I mean, it sounds like it's more for protection. Because, like, That's what I was wondering. my feet are getting pretty damn hot. Okay. They're not getting hot as in sweating from a sauna. They're getting hot. Like the heat? Like a heating pad is too hot. Uh, this is too close to your skin. Okay. So I think, or I would think, I'm guessing or speculating, that the clothing is probably to insulate that. Like barrier protection on your skin. And then it, it probably, if you do start sweating, it probably holds the sweat, right? Yeah. Keep the bag right. a little cleaner. But that doesn't really help us tell how much I can sweat in here. Right. So it's kind of mm. a little back aspers of the, or what we're trying to see. So if I was in that thing, in the DIY sauna, you would be able to instantly tell when I start sweating and you would see the sweat, you know, dripping off of me and stuff. So we're just having a hard time. I mean, I don't see how you can tell anything from out there. Nothing. You're just looking at me zipped up. All right. Thing. So how are we doing on time? We're at 17 minutes. 17? I say at 20, we open the bag and see Okay. what she looks like. Because it's not unreasonable to take a, to take a fresh air break in a, like a normal sauna at about 15, 20 minute mark. Okay. Up here. <clears throat> Room. Or, you know, like open the door, get a breath, breath of fresh air, whatever, something like that. Been fun yet? Yeah. I've been looking forward to this. Is it getting hot? Huh? Like, are you, are you hot? Yeah, my yeah. lower half is pretty dang hot. But again, it's like... I mean, it feels like the heating pad has been on too long. Okay. It doesn't feel like... That's what it is. It's like a giant heating pad. So I was wondering... It's exactly what it feels like. That? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get that... I didn't connect like the a, dots before. Like a heating blanket? Like a vinyl heating blanket? Kind of, yeah. Because it's like... You know how you... You know, you have a heating pad on your shoulder or something that's injured or whatever? And then eventually, like, this area just gets really, really, really warm to the core. Okay. That's what it feels like. I mean, I'm starting, I can feel it right in here. I'm starting to sweat. Mm -hmm. Like, underneath my arms, on the sides of my torso. But that's because it's the only place that it can drip down. I'm following you. Because you're in contact with it otherwise? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Can, in the, in the camera, in the lens, can you see this right here? Yeah. So, that's one of the things that I was that you asked me is are you <laughs> are you gonna go to harbor freight and get a tarp <laughs> but one of the things that i was thinking about and i was like there's no way i would use this in the bed is that even if i could contain the sweat in the bag like my arms are a little wet it, anything that i touch yeah your bed's gonna be rank yeah i thought that was a little strange but that is this is exactly what it says it feels like a giant heating pad but I mean, you can clearly tell that my core temperature is raised, but it's not, I mean, we're not. Your forehead's sweating. But the forehead's out. Oh, uh, yeah, interesting. Oh, uh, you know, okay. uh, we're in AC climate here, super hot in the bag. I don't know. It's not a, it's not a sensation that I'm really used to. Most of my stuff is head in or like in those tents, you can feel the 
temperature build inside the tent. Okay. And You're at 20 minutes now. 20? Mm -hmm. Okay. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, it's like a light. It's a light sweat. You smell anything? No. The bag has some moisture on it. Yeah, it's a light sweat. It's not like a... This is weird, this flap. I'm gonna break this thing. Yeah. I mean, there's some. But if you looked at a regular sauna... Oh, did I not do that right? What oh, those go over your shoulders? What are these flaps? Maybe I didn't do it right. Is it supposed to be sealed? At the top? I didn't even notice that. Oh. I wonder. Did I mess it up? But... I do this all the time. It's not, it's not unreasonable that somebody else is right. going to struggle with zipping this. Want help? <laughs> Two person uh, sauna? Huh? You go to yoga today? What's that? Did you go to yoga today? Oh yeah, baby. Get your flexibility in? Yeah. I missed that completely. The flaps? Yeah. Yeah, me too. So, is that? But there's no Velcro. I should have read that. I meant to go under. Move your left arm. Put your arms in. There we go. Uh, there's nothing to hold it. Yeah, but I wouldn't be able to do that to myself anyway. No, that that's the best. Hey, let's go ahead and do this side. <laughs> Great. This is, this is awesome. Yeah, there's no way you're going to be able to do that yourself. Any different? I'm zipped up in a bag. <laughs> Carry me out the door. Where are you taking me? The dumpster? <laughs> um, yeah. I feel a little bit more like it, uh, there's a slight difference in the top of the shoulders and the neck. It's probably just holding in the heat a little better. Yeah. With those flaps around. I mean, it's not a, it's very minor, but. In the pictures, it doesn't show any of that. Pictures people up in their torso, like the chick has it like under her armpits even. Oh? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like propped up reading a book or... I don't know what she's doing. But you could definitely could not do that one person. There's no way. The flaps? No. No, you'd have to just do it how I had it. Yeah. Even... I'm, I'm not a huge fan of having the hands in. Or the arms in. It's just you're very... You're totally restricted. I don't know if they recommend that either. But definitely heat you up quicker, right? I think a little bit faster, right? I don't know. So I'm starting to feel, my core temperature is starting to feel hotter now. I feel a slight increase in heart rate. A slight increase in breathing. I'm starting to breathe faster. Okay. I notice a little mouth breathing. That's usually when the heat is kicking in. Your heart rate's going up a little bit? A little bit, yeah. I'm not wearing the monitor, but I can tell. Yeah, I mean, I guess this would give you... This would give you infrared. Um, Is this infrared heat? It's supposed to be. Infrared sauna blanket. What would be the difference in an infrared versus if this was just a giant uh, uh, thermal blanket, vinyl thermal blanket, or vinyl like, uh, what do they call them? Uh, well, it depends on what's in the bag. Right. I have no idea what's in this bag. Okay. Uh, there's not like a zipper to open it up. What would make an infrared ver versus just heating elements in there? What would make it? Mm -hmm. um, 
Well, you'd have, I mean, it would be a different, you, you're just, like if it was just electric heating elements, like an electric blanket? Yeah. Well, that's usually just heating elements as in a coil cord or something draped or sewn throughout the and how could you blanket. Do, how could you make infrared like this? Um, you can put little, um, you can put little emitters scattered throughout mm. the fabric, kind of like I don't know if well you I can't cut see it open. It. Huh? You gotta cut it open. This? Yeah. This thing's five hundred bucks. <laughs> you know somebody who can stitch it back? Hmm. That's true. I I mean, this might be a good fit for some people, but it's probably not something that I'm gonna use again. I'm just doing it to see what it's like, if it works, if it's worthwhile. I mean, yeah, I'm getting a sweat experience. I'm starting to get pretty hot. But it's because I'm trapped in the damn bag. They tell it's going to burn calories. Being in it. Yeah, we're, st we're getting in that stage right now. Okay. I can feel it. I'm like top of zone two, early stages of zone three right now. Okay. Heart rate is increased enough to where uh, I'm starting to physically feel the chest movement a little bit. Gotcha. I notice um, not not the beginning stages of gasping for breath, but you know, like when you're when you're you're like starting to tap into the next zone, you start breathing through your mouth a little. Mm -hmm. I'm right there. And I definitely want to pull my arms out. Like okay. I have the desire. I really don't like my arms in here, but it's also the heat. Like I'm almost ready for a break. This could be why you're supposed to wear clothes. Okay. Like on my tailbone, it's Feels weird. No, what? it's just hot. Oh, okay. Like too hot to the touch, you know, to the point where I can see why you put a towel down and stuff. Which I could do that. Should I lay a towel down? You can whenever you want to take a break, I guess. What's the time on it? Twenty-seven. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll wait. I'll try to wait till. I mean, I'm starting to sweat, sweat. I think. Yeah. HD tip. Think pajama bottoms or sweatpants and a long sleeve shirt. There's no way I'm going to do that. Like sweatpants. Sweat, sweat clothes. Like on a normal. Oh, I'm sweating now. Yeah? Yeah, look. Oh, okay. That's different. That's the a bag's wet. Yeah. I'm starting to sweat now. Okay. So what would that take? 25? We're at 20, 28. I'm definitely. But I got to put something under my tailbone. It's too hot. Okay. That's probably what the... Yeah. I'm just... Man. I'll get that shit on the carpet. Gotta have something on the... Something smells. It smells? Yeah, I feel like it's the material. It's probably me. Sweat. You want a towel on top of you? Uh, well, I'll see how I do. Just gotta, I'm gonna practice getting this thing. Stop. I wonder who the hell came up with this idea. I want to cut it open. What? I want to cut it open. Fine, cut it open. I don't care. <laughs> you know. Can we tuck those things in again? No. Because I gotta be able to do it myself. Possible? Maybe one side? Huh? Huh. I mean, the other thing is, I want to try to make it as real as possible. I can already hear, you know, the people who watch these reviews or whatever. <laughs> There's usually two or three camps of people. Okay. Some people are like, you know, they like it when you give them a real world perspective. Yeah, sure. And then others are like, oh, he's just making it seem bad because he doesn't like it. But a lot of stuff comes into play. Like, if you're a smaller person, this is probably better for you than it is for me, right? Yeah. Like, it's easier to get in and out of and stuff. Yeah, like in this picture here, it shows the chick fold it all in. So this picture, it shows her like, way, way almost in. like a therapeutic state versus, you know, in the sauna versus uh, chilling. 
When did it stop? Just now. Yeah, just hit it again. Okay. Good? Yep. It cuts the frame at 28 minutes. Okay. Uh, it's 4K, so they're really big files. And it automatically splits the file oh, so it doesn't you. get too big, so it corrupt the disk. Okay. Or the flash or card, whatever. I'm so I think we caught this on the other one, but uh, in that picture, the chick has those top flaps in. Oh. Yeah, 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 and her, her head Versus is... the other pictures kind of shows them just using it on the bed, like, watching the computer. Right. So I noticed the difference with the towel. In like, what way? Uh, like, my legs and torso and upper back is more comfortable now. Okay. Because the surface, te that's what it is. The surface temperature of the bag is too hot for skin-to-skin -skin contact. Okay. Because my feet are still on fire. Uh, okay. Whereas, where the towel, because the towel didn't go all the way down. So I get it now. The clothes and the towels, it stops the skin-to-skin -skin contact, which is kind of what they said, right? We just didn't, I didn't pay attention to it. I would say this is not for everybody. I wouldn't want to get in that thing. <laughs> well, not now, because I sweat in the dang thing. No, but in general. Oh. I'm not a claustrophobic person, you mean because of that? I don't know, I guess I would just be more apt to, uh get into an open air sauna. Yeah. If you're going to sweat, like drip it out versus, I mean, you're definitely contained in it there. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what I wanted to see. Like, what do you do when this is over? Hmm. I guess if you have towels in it, that absorbs most of the stuff. And if you're wearing sweatpants and stuff, but you still have to wipe it down and things, I would imagine. Do not fold the blanket for at least 30 minutes after use. And it's definitely hotter with your arms in and everything tucked up around here. Okay. Probably for two reasons. It's a little bit more sealed up when you do that and you've got more heater coverage. Like this 20% of your body that's exposed right now is in AC. Tucked in. Yeah. So if you got, you know, 95%, everything but your head. 93%. But it is, it feels weird after a while to have your arms pinned down to your side, kind of. It's hot on the outside, too. It is? Mm -hmm. I can't tell because it's so warm in there. Definitely underneath, even more so. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, it's warm. Really? Like, Warm, warm. Will you just put your arm between the blanket and the... Yeah, you got an infrared thermometer here? Um, somewhere. I don't remember where. Holy shit, that's hot. Really? Yeah. That's what my feet feel like right now. My feet are on fire. Holy shit. I'm curious how hot it is. I'm warm. Is it easier enough for you to find in there or is it a pain? If it's not right on top of the... If it's not right on top of the shelf to the left of the desk, I don't know where it is. That's your air quality thing. Humidity meter. Oh, it's got a temperature gate. Oh, that's, yeah, never mind. It does air temp, not what you're looking for. No, there's just cables and hard drives in there. I'm not sure where it is. It's in a yellow case somewhere. Side table. That's to the left of your desk? You can look in there. No, the thermometer? Yeah. No, it's going to be in one of the yellow cases with some more stuff. I don't know where it is. Okay. That would be interesting to me to get, see how hot that thing is. I feel like, you know, other people have done, not that I've really seen, but I clicked around a little bit. I think there's like a review video or a couple of things of this thing on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're just painting this, they're kind of doing like, not a fake review, but I feel like they're doing, they're painting a picture that this is like a sauna experience and it's not really. Well, I'm not even in the thing and it looks like a pain in the ass. It's yeah, it's not about it being a pain. Like the goal is not to paint it in a bad light, but this is your only option. 
you know, it's probably better than doing nothing. It does get you sweating. What are you doing? I'm just, in I feel like it's almost radiating as much heat out as it is in. Oh, probably. Yeah, it depends on what's in here. All but right. if there's no backing on the outside. Right. To, uh, like I mean, a. It's hot. Really? It is hot, hot. Like some sections, as I get up close to your torso, I mean, I only want to leave my hand in there for a few seconds. Yeah. I could see it. Huh. I'm, I'm pretty su I'm surprised that, about that. Hmm. So what else do you think, what could we do to add insight or value or, or something for people that are interested in this? Because, uh, it, you know, it's interesting to me. It almost seems like they would have some type of external thermal blanket around it. Not thermal as far as electric, but just holding in heat. Oh, uh, I mean ar around the whole thing. Yeah, almost like if this was an interior piece to it. Like another layer. Yeah. Because one, then, you're losing a lot of heat. And then you too. Like I wear sweatpants and sweatshirt and stuff. Well, I mean, that, yeah, that would only increase it, I would think. Yeah. But I mean, it's losing a lot of heat on the outside. Yeah. Well, I am, I am sweating now. Okay. How are we on the clock? Uh, 35 minutes. We had 28 plus six. Okay. So we're 35 total. I've opened the bag twice. I don't think opening the bag though really releases, like that's not its mechanism of heat. Okay. It's kind of like the other infrared saunas. You can open the door and you don't lose all the heat. But it does cool you down because the, the room is AC. I'm just thinking this through. No, what I was saying is, because <laughs> I'm in here, what else can we do to, to try to uh, help people or provide value? I don't want to just be all negative about this just because it's not for me. What are the well, I guess user tips. They want you to wear clothing from Toto. That's true. All right, head to toe basically. Yeah. They want you to be wrapped in your own clothes. Yeah. And that is kind of my fault on one hand, but I wanted to see what it was like. Mm -hmm. Just like raw, how hot it would get. It says not to use on a memory foam bed. I think it's because of the heat. I can see that. Yeah, it's too hot for that. Yeah. If you won't hold your arm underneath the bag, then the that's the foam would be. That's interesting to me. Yeah. So it's a good idea to put a blanket under it on carpet like I did. Yeah, I think so. Something to insulate a little bit does it say anything about keeping the arms out because in some of the photos like on the box the arms are I out mean, just on a cursory read I, I didn't catch it but i can't say it was uh super detailed i totally get the socks and the sweatpants now or at least towels on the bottom to keep the surface temperature of the skin-to-skin -skin contact from feeling too hot. My feet are too now hot. Let me ask you a question. What are, what's the material massage tables made out of? Massage? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's usually vinyl or leather. Vinyl covered foam? Oh yeah. So what? how would that be different than a foam mattress? Uh, open cell, closed cell maybe? Okay. I don't know. They're recommending on a massage table or yoga mat. Hmm. Yoga mat's probably fine. It's just like a woven vinyl, right? I guess I don't run too much of them. I mean, on a hardwood floor or something. But I'd probably still put down towels or a blanket in case, like, I open this thing up and you got I yeah, get right. sweat on my arms. But not everybody's that paranoid. Also, is there a... Can you think of a way to condense this? Because, uh, like, if I put up this 35-minute clip, some people will watch it, but other people aren't. So in two minutes or less, how could we summarize what's happened with this bag? Um, like from your perspective, I mean, I don't... Uh, <laughs> wear clothes. Wear clothes. Um, I guess decide on if you want to be, if you want to be completely tucked in, you gotta have someone to help you do the flaps. Right. Otherwise, uh, you could kind of fish your arms in there. I mean, I guess I could have gotten this, set. like I could put my water and stuff next to me and try to drink and all that. I'm just kind of still trying to take it all in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I am sweating now. Like you do get a sweat experience, but it takes a half an hour. Okay. Definitely takes a half an hour. Heart rate's still the same. Heart rate's probably middle of zone three. Lower zone three. Okay. Yeah, you still have a conversation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, actually, maybe low, low. Maybe high, high zone two. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Breathing is not that heavy. Just feel the heat. It says preheating takes approximately 10 minutes prior to the session. Oh. How long did it take for our EMF test? Just a few minutes. Six, we right? Probably close to 10. Okay. Just place a towel inside the blanket for an additional barrier. How are we doing on time? We're close You've to preheated the blanket for 10 minutes. The session should be no more than 45 to 50 minutes. Blanket will automatically power off after 60 minutes. Okay. That's like most of the saunas. Oh, okay. Uh, we're at uh, 39 minutes. I think I'm wrong. I'm wrong on my zones. I should be wearing the monitor. It's just the heat. Okay. It's making me feel like that. Cause the breath. I'm not gasping for air or anything. I'm not even really breathing that heavy. I'm just mouth breathing. When I'm in the um, did I show you that video? I haven't released it yet on YouTube, but did I show you the video about the weight loss in the sauna? You're talking about it. And if you do the session right and your body's preheated, how much um, uh, like your maintenance rate in the sauna wearing the monitor and the amount of calories burned is more than you think. Huh. I was shocked. Is that right? Yeah. If you keep it hot, hot, you can stay in upper zone two and, and mid zone three. But I mean, you're starting to huff and puff a little. Okay. Um, but you can control it a little bit if you open the door. Okay. So you just, it's kind of like, and you know, like you told me to do on the bike, endurance, keep it zone two, not touch zone three. All right. And then just try and do what you can to tweak it to stay right in that area. Okay. You can do it. Control breathing. Yeah, you can do it in the sauna. So you can do like an hour and 20 minute session and you're burning hundreds of calories. Okay. And you're just cycling through. Huh. If you get too high, like if you're in, if you start tapping upper zone three, mm -hmm. just open the door, take a break, step out. Okay. Get back in. Bring it back down. Yeah. I'm getting bored. Is it good enough? You're over 40 minutes. Yeah. I mean, I'm sweating. It's all right. I knew, I knew I wasn't really going to like it, but... Anything else? <laughs> Not that I can think of. Okay, I'm done. I've had enough of this thing. Your, uh, your shorts look wet. Yeah. A little bit. On the bottom. Top's not so much. Yeah, I mean, definitely have... That's why I didn't want to use a towel because you can't really see anything. Okay. Um, man, that's hot under my Head feet. Sweating. Huh? Yeah, that's what I was feeling on the outside. Yeah. All right. So that's what it looks like. And then what? You just wipe it down? It says there's, it recommends a vinegar solution if you really want to. Uh, has a couple recommendations. It's going to be sweat all over this thing. Man. I don't think I'm gonna be doing. I, I don't really want to do this review. <laughs> I don't want to publish this. <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing these people any favors.
You know what I mean? This is not a... Wasn't that what you do? I mean, you're trying to realistically use the product? Yeah. I mean, that's why I bought it. The companies will send you stuff, but then they have an expectation that you're going to review the pods possibly. Right. So I stopped doing that. Well, you got it and you sweat your ass off. I don't know that I would have done that. Yeah. Well, you got to be open minded. You got to, like, you got to stay open minded enough to say, hey, maybe this thing works good. Well, that's, you said it better than, you articulated it better than I did, but that was my intent of saying that. There's no way in hell I'm gonna do this all the time. Do they have a guarantee on if you don't like it? I don't know. I'm sure they do. You buy it directly from the company? Yeah. Almost everybody has a guarantee. I mean, what I used to do is reach out to companies and say, hey, you know, I review saunas or whatever. I'm interested in checking yours out or blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But this kind of stuff and one of the other portable ones, I didn't do that at all. I just ordered it and swiped the card. They don't even know who I am. Right. Which is better because then, you know, no one's emailing me saying, hey, you know, can you please talk to us about your experience before you publish any videos? Blah, blah, blah. There was ads about, I sent you the ad I saw about this, right? What'd you say? I said, I think I sent you the ad I saw about these. And you said you had already bought one. Dude, this is hot. That's what I mean. Feel the outside of the bag. Like really hot. Dude. That's what I'm, that's why I'm talking about. Holy crap. That's why my feet were burning. Yeah, that's why I wanted the thermometer. I wasn't kidding. So definitely got a little VOCs from that. But the outside looks like leather vinyl. Yeah. So I definitely sweat, but I don't think it's the level of sweat that you right. get from in there. But I could be wrong. I don't know. It's hard to tell because some of it's in here because it was laying on this, so you're already kind of pat dry. Oh, uh, okay. Out. That's not normal. I don't know. All right. Anything else we can portray to, to folks? Because probably won't be using this again. Maybe we should make could do a giveaway. Slight used one time. And for, <laughs> <laughs> you guys want a sauna blanket for free? You said don't fold it up? That's what it said, I guess, to air it out. Oh, and probably the heat. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. And I think, what'd you say you saw ads for this? Was it like 500 bucks? I don't remember. I think it was Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. Are there multiple companies that make these? Or they're just one right now? Cheap. I have a cheap Amazon one here that I just ordered the other day to try to compare this to. Because I was like, oh, how do we know it's worth spending 500 bucks? Right. And you can get one for 150. But I don't, I mean, I don't think I'm going to bother. I'll just send it back. It's not really, it seems like a waste of time. I mean, it's, it's like some cheap. It's cheaper than what I just used. And it's like rubber vinyl. Yeah, it smells like rubber. Mm. I don't know. I'm getting tired of tired of reviewing these things. Okay. Alright, you all set? Signing off.